very few people get to say they are the best of all time. I am the greatest bottle cap shooter that has ever lived. Pioneers of the modern ninja movement, they have single-handedly revolutionized the art of war. The style in which they fight has not been seen since the days of the samurai. For about five years or so, that's all I ever did was make films about shooting bottle caps. <laughs> it's definitely molded me into the filmmaker I am today. So if you would, sit back, relax, and enjoy the lost art of the bottle cap shot by the world's greatest shooter, Joey Shanks. Hi, I'm Joey Shankerberg. And this is Bottle Cap 101. It sure would be great if you'd listened while we ran down the essential skills for shooting a bottle cap. Now the first principle to shooting a bottle cap well is the way you hold it. Now the way you should do it, a lot of people you know, like to hold it different ways, but middle finger to thumb is the best. And what you need to do is usually set the bottle cap on the table for beginners. And you're just going to come down and you pick it up, you got your inside middle finger to the inside of the cap where the thumb is on the outside. And pretty much this gives you a really good hold and you're ready to do it. Grasp the bottle cap firmly between your middle finger and thumb. Now after you have it positioned right, you want to pull it back in a motion like this. And why do you do it like this? Well, there's a couple reasons. You see how this cap is parallel? Make sure you hold the bottle cap on a parallel plane with your arm. The flight will be truer. And what I'm doing here is I'm keeping this cap parallel to where I'm trying to shoot. Now what I mean by parallel is, I mean it's going this way. You want to fire it where it's coming like that at you. Not where the cap's like this, or like this, or like any which other way. Because the way a frisbee flies, the way a saucer flies, it's going to fly like this. And that's how you get the greatest power, and that's really how you shoot very true shots. And that brings up another thing. When you come back like this, you have this elbow here, your whole arm. And this is pretty much your aimer. God has given you an elbow. Aim with it. Look how my elbow is. And I can go any which way with this. And what it's supposed to do, once you fire it, it's just going to come right down your elbow, right down your arm and come out. And it's going to shoot wherever your elbow is. And I can't even wear long sleeves because I shoot it so close to my arm that usually if I wear sleeves, it's going to catch it and not, it's just going to be a dud. And then it's all about also that snap too. You can't forget the snap. If you can't snap, you can't shoot a ball cap. If you can't snap your fingers, you suck. You just got to generate that, that power and you just let physics do the rest. Why don't we summarize? It's all about how you hold the cap, how you position the cap for, for firing and aiming the cap. And then it's all about having that middle finger come over your thumb, have that cap come right through and your money. There you go. Now you're ready to let one fly hardcore. <laughs>